This is Simarjit Singh back again with the Quotes That Inspire Us series. My desire is to share with you words of inspiration from different parts of the world, from different thinkers, um, words which provoke you, which inspire you, which force you to slow down and think again about life and your priorities. I think uh, today's video is like two different quotations rolled into one from two different masters, from two different parts of the world, from two different eras altogether differently. One is from the famous psychologist Carl Jung and the other one is from the Sufi master Jalaluddin Rumi. And the beauty of uh, these two very different set of words is how similar they are in their intent coming from two people who probably would have never met each other, probably came from very different cultures, but yet the essence of what they had to say remains the same. And that's what I love because it all connects all these great thinkers, all these great minds, you know, they probably all tune into a, a super conscious mind and derive their wisdom from that. So let's start with the first one coming from Carl Jung, who wrote, the shoe that fits one person pinches another. The shoe that fits one person pinches another. There is no universal recipe for living. And I think I've found this quotation by Carl Jung very apt at times when um, people send emails or ask experts about the ideal life. There is no ideal path that anyone else can tell you. There is no set path that you must walk on in order to qualify as a life that was lived well or, or in order to qualify being called successful because what, what works for one person might not work for another and therefore it is the utmost responsibility of every human being to figure out your own way, to figure out that path which is meant for you, which utilizes your strengths and which will enable you to flourish and will give you most peace and harmony. If you're an entrepreneur, perhaps you would feel suffocated working for someone else or living on a salary. And, and, and that, because that's who you are, that's, that's your path, that is your recipe for living. If you're an entrepreneur, you must unleash that entrepreneurial instinct and do something on your own. And if you suffocate yourself into a job just because you did not have the courage to follow your own path, you're going to lead a life of misery. However, not everyone's meant to be an entrepreneur. You know, some people find life more comfortable and more appealing and they're able to handle it better when, they, when they're working for someone else, when they're drawing a salary and working for a corporation. And um, a person like that would find it very hard to survive as an entrepreneur. You know, he might find it very difficult on a day-to-day -day basis to figure out everything for himself or herself. They'd be better on, better off being part of a system, of an ecosystem, where a lot of things are taken care, uh, taken care of by someone else, and they can focus on the work they need to do. So, the shoe that fits one person pinches another. There is no your universal recipe for living, which means figure out your own recipe, experiment, think, um, take a few wrong steps if you have to in order to arrive to the truth. But uh, please, please, please figure out your own path, the one that pleases you the most. The second one, coming from the Sufi master Jalaluddin Rumi, again ties into this one. And, uh, Rumi writes, don't be satisfied with the stories, how things have gone for others. Unfold your own myth. Don't be satisfied with stories, how things have gone with others. Unfold your own myth. And I think the beauty about this second uh, set of words from Jalaluddin Rumi is once someone becomes successful, suddenly there's a huge amount of interest in how did this person get there? What's his life story? What sort of actions did he take? What sort of steps on his journey? In the desire to replicate that journey, in the desire to follow those footsteps, in the desire to recreate that success. And that is where precisely Rumi is asking you not to do it. And he's saying, okay, fine, learn and be inspired and you know, gather information if you have to, but learn to unfold your own myth. And I think uh, that is one of our primary responsibilities to ourselves, to leading a fulfilling life, is to have the courage 
to unfold our own myth is the is to have the courage to walk into the unknown and not always uh, seek out a step by step description of what someone else has done before you so i leave you in summary with these two thoughts once again with the only intent that you would after you finish this with you pause and spend some time on figuring out your own journey and um, with the desire to unfold your own myth the shoe that fits one person pinches another there is no universal recipe for living carl jung and do not be satisfied with the stories how things have gone for others unfold your own myth jalaluddin rumi so i hope this gives you food for thought to figure out your very own specific path to unfolding the beautiful gifts that you arrived with on this planet thank you for watching bye bye